Boom. Hello and welcome to the Executive Protection Lifestyle Podcast, Season 4. With your host, Byron Rogers, this podcast is dedicated to the executive protection practitioner, the private security professional. In this podcast, we're going to talk about the mental, emotional, psychological, physiological fitness that goes into being an effective efficient and effective executive protection agent. Whether you're in law enforcement, whether you're a mom that's looking at how to protect your children or a father that's focused on how to protect his family, I believe this podcast has something for all of you. We might even get into some tales from the crypts of true Hollywood stories from time to time. I'm doing this podcast because I feel the reality of this job is simple. If you really want to be good at executive protection, it's more than just a job. It really is is a lifestyle and those of you who've been in the game for any serious amount of time you already know what i'm saying is true so if that sounds interesting to you enjoy the show out i will make you a professional executive protection agent that's the game that is my purpose if you're in the game if you're in the executive protection game and you're looking to level up, get higher quality contracts, have more industry success, I will teach you how to do that also. This is a conversation about not so much the industry, but about you, what you're able to achieve, the type of agent you wanna be, you know? And it's been amazing over the years, man, what is it? I think we're maybe in our third or fourth year of this podcast. It's hard to tell because time has just been flying, you know, since I began this, this endeavor, you know, since I began trying to contribute and make contributions to the executive protection industry, you know, uh, it's been truly priceless to see the fruit of those efforts. It's been priceless to see guys get into the industry, you know, when we start working together and we start the mentorship. Because of this program, I do have a job. And I really feel like going back five months, if I was to apply for the same position, between my application and my ability to speak confidently about my position and the things that I can do, I don't think I would have it. When we start, um, when I let him into the program and I'm like, hey man, where'd you come from? We're doing our, you know, they hop in the program. Um, maybe training day, right? And then they're on their first call with me in the class, and they're like, "Yeah, you know, I'm I'm working here, but uh, you know, I really hope I can get into the industry. I really hope I can I can I can do it, you know. Or I'm a civilian, and I really hope I can get into this industry, and and I want to do something more with my life. I want to serve at a higher level and be compensated at a higher level for a higher quality of of service that I'm able to render as a professional protector." Maybe they're your guard, you know, and and we've had guys that are like, yeah, I've been in private security for a decade, but I've never been able to get up to the executive protection level. Um, how do I do it? You know, I'm here for that. You know, this forum is going to be life changing. You know, like with all of the wisdom, mm-hmm. all the speakers that you know, like I'm really excited for just like listening to people who are at the point where I would, you know, only hope and dream to be at 10, 15 years from now and just getting that wisdom, you know, I'm just, oh, I'm, 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 be, I'm, I, I'm geeking out, man. I'm geeking yeah. out, you know? <laughs> and then a few meetings later, you know, sometimes as soon as three months later, you know, uh, they're hitting me up. Sometimes as soon as coming back from the hard skills intensive. I looked October 28th is when I paid for it. And I probably start started the class the 30th And I think I finished around like right before Thanksgiving. So like November 21st, 23rd, when I finished the class, like I set up and ready to go. Like one one of the guys said, hey, like how long have you been doing this for? And I was like, I got my certification about uh, two months ago, bro. (laughs) And And he's like, Where'd you go? Like, you know, like, uh, what school? Uh, school. And I was like, uh, Byron Rogers, uh, executive protection training day, bro. You know, like, and, and he's like, you learned all this. He's like, is it like hands on it? You know, like all this kind of stuff. And I said, Byron's 
hands on. And he, you know, like I talk to him on the phone, I talk to him on Instagram, we have Zoom calls and stuff like that. But like, really, it's just the way that he goes about explaining it. And like all the information, like isn't just one big fat, like mind dump in a one day classroom. Like you have access to it anytime you need it, you know? So like I told him, like I was in my hotel room last night, be, um, yep. Before I even got here, watching you know, like I'm watching the mod, um, the modules and going over my notes and everything, man. And you know, yep. like that's how I got ready. They're hitting me up. And they're like, man, you know, dude, I got my first contract. I'm on my first job. I, I just got my, I just got recruited, you know, by a legit executive protection shop, you know. And they're like, wow, thank you. There is no way for me to put a price on what that means, you know. I've done a couple of online executive protection training classes trying to transfer over to my current uh, employment into the executive protection world and by far Byron Rogers executive protection training day has been the best. He only gives you good information. There's no fluff. There's no fill. He's very a part of the group. He has live Q and A's every week where you can ask him questions and talk to him. And he's serious about bettering the community. He's not just putting out information, having a test at the end and giving you a certification like most courses. He's a part of it. There's just nothing that's more valuable than that. You know, coming up in the industry, the way I came up, I had to figure out a lot of things by myself. And I still have to figure out a lot of things by myself, you know, but my game is like, I vowed and just, I'm going to give you guys what I got, you know, because that's the type of person I am. It's really hard to understand that in a, in a world where money means so much to everyone. And 90% of the time people are trying to scam you and like, like, is it really, really worth it, you know, to do, to take the plunge, to, to, to pay for some training or to, you know, to go into this type of relationship where there's a financial exchange for some benefit that you hope is actually going to manifest itself. It's very difficult to know what's right and what's wrong. And at a certain point, at a certain level, it's just going to take some trust. Well, during this episode, I'm just going to talk to you about what I've seen in the industry, what we've been able to do as a brand, how I intend to contribute to your to your life and your career as an executive protection agent, if you'll allow me to, and and the things I've seen, you know, and ultimately you'll have to make your decision. But like I've been doing these episodes for what four years or whatever it's been, you know, I've been contributing, and so I have data, like I have experience. I know what works to get guys into this industry. I know what doesn't work to get them into this game. I can look at someone in seconds and tell if they have what it takes, you know, and um, for a guy who's had to come up by himself in so many ways and great, I had great mentors at certain points for certain things, but for the most part, I had to figure it out. And I guess I should give you some background just in case this is the first time you've heard the sound of my voice. You know, my name is Byron Rogers and I'm a protector by nature and by trade. You know, I started out in the Marine Corps uh, Semper Fi, 3-1 Lima Company, Weapons Platoon, right? That's my unit. You know, that's my, in the Marine Corps, right? Two deployments to Iraq, up on five times. There's a lot of stuff online. If you want to hear my story, go to the About Me page at byronrogers.com or byronrogersmotivation.com. You know, Urban Valor did an amazing job telling my story. Uh, that's a really cool podcast for veterans. And uh, I've always just had a heart to help. And to be a protector, I wrote a book called Finding Meaning After the Military. You can find online on Amazon. And it's just all about the mental tools I used to win in the first civilian division. And, and that book's designed to help vets with the transition. And this game's about your software, your tools, right? But I'm going to tell you these things, not to tell you how awesome I am, because if you're smart, you're looking for a pattern. You want to know who's genuine and you want to know who's not genuine. And what I I can show you is a pattern of consistency with regards to trying to contribute to people's lives as a protector and an empowerer, right? Like what are the two most high quality things you can do for a human being? You can protect, uh, well, from a masculine standpoint, right? You can protect, create an environment for them to grow safely. 
You can provide. For me, it's providing opportunities. But both of those things are, are useless unless I can empower. I can make it so you can do it on your own and by yourself, right? And just like any human, like, what's the what's in it for me is legacy, man. I believe everybody in this life dies two times, you know, once when you physically die and a second time when your name is said for the last time on this planet, you know, I live by a higher set of values than money legacy, you know, uh, I ain't never been the biggest. I ain't never been the baddest. I've never been the best man. I've always been kind of mediocre, you know, five ten. You know, 240. I ain't never been, you know, I mean, still don't quite got a six pack. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a Navy SEAL, Delta operator, didn't work in the Secret Service. You know, I wish I did. But boy, that stuff is, man, that those are some marketing advantages I do not have. Okay. I'm Marine Corps Infantry. Who cares? You know, but I've been able to build a social media empire through hard work and consistency since 2011 because I've been consistently contributing. Dudes have followed me, people have followed me know I've got the most aggressive and consistent organic content schedule of anybody else in this game. I will hit you with one to two organic videos a day. Boom, 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 boom. Because I'm not that cool, but I've got, I'm going to contribute. Your life will be better because we're connected on social media. I'm going to give you free, high value content consistently, right? Um, and that's what I've been doing. Uh, and that's what I've occupied most of my time with. So, so my background, United States Marine Corps Infantry, told you what gang I was in, right? I mean, what unit I was with. Got out uh, into the private security industry when I was 21 years old. Um, hit the fur, the largest kind of most traveled executive protection detail at 21. So like for me, getting into this game was like drinking out of a fire hose. We hit over 60 countries the very first year. We did that on repeat for seven years. Uh, I started on that detail when I was a 13 man detail, a jump team or travel team or ready team, depending on your terminology and familiarity with how we set this stuff up. Um, these cats, most of the team would be out around America when we would travel. They would come in, meet us on location and sometimes travel with us. But I was on the California part of that unit, which basically mean I was working 24 seven every single day of the week all the time, right? I had to pay the cleaning lady extra when I needed my clothes turned back around uh, same day or just in a few hours in most cases, because sometimes we'd come back to California only for a few seconds, right? Uh, literally for literally for hours. Anyway, so that was my introduction to this industry, living on private jets. We added up all the hours that we spent uh, that first year in private jets. We're flying for over two weeks. Like all the hours added up was flying for over two weeks. Anyway, so that was my introduction. I did that for seven years. I learned in dog years. My first six weeks on that detail, I saw about 30 guys come and go. Guys that were bigger than me, better than me, better than me, better backgrounds, older, sexier, special forces year, uh, federal law enforcement, secret service year than me, right? So I had to start to really figure out like, how am I going to survive in this game? This guy deserves to take my spot. And after a while, I started to realize that guy, those guys weren't taking my spot. And then I started to realize that maybe there's like, there's a science here. There's an ology here, right? And this really gave birth to a lot of the things I talk about in the training day success package. How can you win when you're not on paper or visually the biggest, the best, the best? And if you are on paper and if you are visually the biggest, the best, the best, why not? It's like, like, like who benefits from going to MMA camp? Like, uh, you know, only women that like need help learning how to be physically potent enough to overpower a man or like even the strong dudes, everyone needs to go learn how to fight because it's just going to make everyone better. Right. So that's kind of what my course has done for a lot of professionals. Right. So I did that as long as I could stand it for seven years, working for this client, traveling the world, uh, pulled back after seven years, went down to Florida, started my own security firm down there, uh, started bouncing. Right. So I started out bouncing in California, got hired from the door from bouncing, started out bouncing in Florida, went back to bouncing in Florida, trying to start my own security company, got myself up to the highest parts of the industry down there. So that is important because then what you're going to realize is that I understand how to come from um, not being in the industry, essentially, uh, and how to get into the industry and then also how to move around in the industry and get the industry to react to you as a professional, not even just a professional. Everyone's a professional as a specialist. That's why I named this brand 
EP specialists, right? The League of Executive Protection Specialists, because a specialist is different than just a professional, right? Uh, they're giving out CCWs in Los Angeles now. This means they're giving a lot more private security professionals, right? But um, how do you get the industry to react to you as a specialist? What's the difference between a specialist and a professional? A professional, when you think about a doctor, right? Uh, a general practitioner doctor sees a lot of different people per day, right? He's on his feet all day. He makes good money, but he's just a generalist. He's a professional. Right. But then you go to a specialist. Right. A specialist is probably out on his yacht, out on his boat, golfing 90 percent of the time until a brain surgery is required. He's a brain surgeon. He is a specialist. And that's when he is called because he only comes in for brain surgery. Right. Because he's a specialist. He works uh, on a specific thing and he makes a lot more money doing it. And the world and the industry knows to call him for these specific types of tasks because he's a specialist. That's the whole entire angle with executive protection, uh, the the League of Executive Protection Specialists. And um, that's something I've been able to do is create the largest online brand with regards to executive protection. Boom. If you've been enjoying the podcast, I want to encourage you to come and train with me. Train with us, the League of Executive Protection Specialists. We offer online courses so you can train and learn how to take your executive protection career to the next level from the comfort of your own home. Uh, We offer on ground training on everything from the hard skills of driving, shooting, medical, um, and into the soft skills through the executive protection immersion course, which is one of the most experiential learning centric courses in the executive protection industry. Either way, I want you to become part of the golden standard in the private security industry and join the brotherhood, the League of Executive Protection Specialists. Go to epspecialist.com and let's do our careers together. I'll see you there. Out. Not the biggest company, not the biggest executive protection organization. I've been able to create the largest brand and become the number one avatar or essentially kind of icon of the private security industry. Right. And so that's what I help you guys do. I don't make it. You don't have to do it the way I do it, but I teach you how to frame everything you're doing online and in person so that when people think I need an EP agent, they come to you. The art of widening your sphere of relationships deliberately and genuinely. The art of positioning yourself and your LinkedIn and your resume and the images you use and all these different things and the conversations and the deliberate moves you make when you're at training events, you know, there's an art to this. And I have proof that I've been able to do it not only in my own life and in my brand, but also in the lives and brands of our students when they come back after being part of the program for a few, few months and they have results. And you can go to epspecialist.com and you can go look at the testimonial page and you can see all the different people that have that we've gotten in the industry, hundreds of agents, you know, that we've gotten in the industry. This podcast, this isn't about me. It's about what I know for a fact I can do for you. And so the way this works is, you know, whether you're a barista at Starbucks, whether you're a banker, or whether you're a guy getting out of the military, whether you're law enforcement, you're looking for a career shift, right? Um, The backbone and the beginning, the foundation of what we offer is training day, the training day success package. This is everything I know about executive protection in one success package. But what makes us even more potent is that this package, the training day success package, gives you a network. You know, and don't tune me out here. These are powerful tools that work for people that can change your life and help you elevate in your career. How are you going to get that promotion? How are you going to get to another awesome contract? If you're in the industry and you're bored with what you have, you want something something new, how are you going to get it? It's not about who you know. It's about who knows you, who will vouch for you. It's about your ability to widen your sphere of relationships, man. It's about the value of your network. The value of your network is your net worth. And the cool thing is with with, uh, training day and with any course you get from the league, the cool thing is you're going to get plugged into the brotherhood. You're going to get plugged into the League of Executive Protection Specialists. And so now you will all of a sudden have a network. You'll have a network of people all around the world that are in our industry, that are doing our careers together, that meet twice a month and that have our own secret group where we share opportunities with each other. 
you're going to be part of the golden standard, right? The EP underground, right? You will not have to do your career alone. That alone, just being part of the network and being able to be like, oh man, I've got an interview tomorrow. Let me hop on a Zoom with Byron and the team and the class. Oh man, I have, what gear should I use for this next op? Let me hop in the group and just ask the boys. And then boom, you get like 14 different answers you know, from different guys all around the world that have used different things. They're like, hey, man, I like this bag. I like that bag. I don't like this one. You know, hey, what do you guys think about this? Hey, I've got an advanced where I'm working solo. You know, has anyone worked this venue? You have these assets. Hey, man, I just moved to this other state looking to get into the game. Uh, is anyone else out here? Like, this is now the way you can move through the industry. You know, and this is before we get into the value of the instruction. A lot of what you're going to find out there in the industry is instruction-based value. Yeah, cool. Um, you get taught something at a week-long course somewhere that you went. How much of that do you take with you? How much of that's going to be there as you evolve through your career, right? So with training day, you get access to the online platform for the rest of your life. So you might come into the industry on a residential detail and you have to use the modules on social dynamics, how to integrate with a team, social dynamics on how to work with your clients, social dynamics on how to um, deal with the Royal court and how to, how to interview, how to set up your, your resume, how to set up your LinkedIn. You use all that stuff. You get into the industry, right? You know, this isn't like going to an in-person training where there's information coming at you like a fire hose then you never get to access it again. And your instructor's gone for the rest of your life. And somehow that's supposed to make your life better. That, that one spike event training, and then you go back to your normal life. No, but with training day, you get the information forever. So then you get into the deep, the industry a year later, you go to a single person advance on a country and you have that module back there. You can just go reference it and I can be there instructing you again, supported by the fact that every two weeks, boom, join the group, man. Come in and say, hey, Byron, like I got this op coming up. It's crazy. You know, and you can ask the group, hey, I've got a single person advance coming up. Any any advice? You can use all the cheat codes and the, and the, and the notes and the formulas I have back there for advances and all this stuff. You know, so anyways, you get that for the rest of your life. And that's what I love about training day. And that's really where it starts. You get the network, you get the training, you get trained on how to interact with the industry. I will make you an executive protection agent. Now, this is about getting into the industry. This is about getting the initial training. If you're strapped, like if cash is an issue and you want to start trying to get into the industry, training day is where you start. Okay. If you don't have the time, to take a week off of work. You're going to have the money to not work for a week and take a week off of work to go to a course. Training day is where you start. Get in, start learning the, the game. Start learning how to uh, present yourself in a way and uh, take what you've done in your life and your life experience and transmute it into something that speaks to an executive protection hiring manager. You know, some of you civilians and people look at your backgrounds and you're like, oh, well, you know, like, you know, I, I I was a waiter and I did all these things that I don't think have value. And I sit there and I when I counsel with you guys, I'm like, are you kidding me? The fact that you are a waiter tells me I know you know customer service. So you're in sales. I know that you can talk to my clients with confidence. You can sell security. If you have to interact with them, you're going to be you're not going to be nervous like the other guys. Um, there's so many things in your resume that really speak a lot about who you are, you know, uh, that's really valuable to someone in my position that's trying to, that you should have on your resume, but you're not going to know unless you get the modules and you do the thing, you, you know, that you can put on your LinkedIn and that you can, you know what I mean? So training day is amazing. Don't, don't discount it because it's online. That one course has helped hundreds of agents get into this industry, right? If you're a gangster, take a hybrid, you know, go training day and hard skills intensive. The hard skills intensive is where we make sure you know and have the hard skills, shooting, driving, and medical to be a legitimate protector. I will make you an executive protection agent. I will teach you how to elevate your career. We have the tools here. We've done it already for hundreds of agents. All you have to do is have the emotional intelligence to pull the trigger, get into this, get into this game, get on one of the courses and join the brotherhood and join the league. That's it. The guys that get in, I have a saying, do what I do, see what I see, have, see what I see, do what I do, have what I have right? Get what I got. And that's what a lot of dudes have done. If you're in the industry and you want to elevate, this is the path. 
you know, get the industry to react to you differently, get yourself recognized and looked at differently, understand the social dynamics that will give you the edge at work, build your resume and your training jacket to where you are head and shoulders above everyone else. And at the very least, access a network that can, your network is your net life, that your network is your net worth, access a network that can change your life. It's that simple. And how do we know? I'm dead serious because I'm going to meet with you every two weeks for you to say, hey, Byron, this was a bunch of bull crap. Or for you to say, hey, Byron, man, you've, this has been amazing. And what you're going to find is that everyone in the group is going to be like, man, this has been pretty amazing. Uh, I can say that with confidence because it is what we're doing. It's what we're experiencing. The second problem that I always have to help professionals with, the first one is, can I get in the industry? That's the easy one. The second one is, can I find a good home in the industry that fits my lifestyle and my likes and who I am? You know, can I find a client whose values align with mine and a work schedule that works for what I'd like to have? That's really a quality problem. Okay, I'll get you in the industry. Now, the quality problem is, can I find that great white whale that's the right pay and opportunity to get me to want to do this for the rest of, uh, for, for the next five, 10 years? That represents enough upward mobility and things like that. And I teach guys, you know, about the two kind of major paths in the industry, the corporate path where you climb the ladder and the PPO path where you start to build your own books and you build your own company and all that stuff. But anyways, so how am I going to make you an executive protection agent? Well, if you're questioning my heart, like, oh, well, Byron just wanted to sell me something. No, it's that I know for a fact I have systems and products and principles and personnel ready to serve you that work. No one on this planet has generated as much free content for the private security industry as I have. No one. I've got what I can probably look right now over 150 field notes just free for the industry. Uh, uh, we're at a, over 150 hour long, uh, hour long episodes in the private security industry. Okay. No one has given more free content to this industry in effort, in an effort to make this industry a better place. If I was all about money, there's no way I'd be able to do that. Your, 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 your true colors show your heart. You will break. You can't do something. Your heart's not in for that long. Okay. So it's time you guys start to recognize that I really actually am here as a contributor, not a taker, someone who's going to give you more value than you're ever going to, who's already given more value than anyone ever asked for. In fact, I was explicitly told not to talk about our industry, not to give free content. I was hated on by a lot of the cool kids that you guys see uh, out there in the industry and the high table, the blue bloods of our industry for sharing industry secrets. And I'm like, come on, guys, we're not in the CIA, dude. It's not like that complicated. As long as you're not sharing information that's that's stinking mission sensitive, as long as you're not breaking OPSEC, we can talk about different tactics and techniques we use, as long as there's nothing too sensitive in there. I want agents out there in this industry to be able to be better by following this content, getting these cheat codes. Why? Because it makes the industry a better place. It brings honor and respect back to our industry. And then we can charge more and everyone can eat more. It's cooperation over competition 100% of the time. That is what I've always been trying to get uh, this industry to understand. The, well, not the industry, the cool kids in the industry to understand when you get to a detail, one of the first battles you're going to fight, and this is a social dynamic kind of principle that I talk about, one of the first battles you're going to have to fight is, is it a co uh, competition over cooperation environment where it's a high attrition rate, you know, where it's I protect myself, I throw you under the bus, I gain some... I go up a few levels by stabbing you a few times. We fight the PAs. The PAs fight us. The drivers talk crap about us. We talk crap about the drivers, you know, like, or is it one of those environments where like we talk about in the league is social dynamics. Dude, I'm converting everyone, every single person, every single person on the board, I'm converting into an auxiliary teammate. I get a new nanny. I meet the PAs and it's, hey, I don't know how you guys have been doing business. I don't know how you do business, but this is how I do business. I'm here to make you look good. I'm here to make you hit grand slams. If you slip on something, I will protect you. I will help you. I want you to look like a rock star in your position and I'll do everything I can to make sure that that happens. And uh, what I've learned is that if I'm treating you like that, 
that. If I'm protecting you, if I'm covering your six, you most of the time, you'll start to reciprocate that. And then guess what? We serve our customer client principle better. And we are actually safe if you know that I'm not here competing with you or trying to take your position or trying to gain some kind of social dominance. So what happens? That PA turns into my homeboy, homegirl, and we serve better. We create an environment that's more financially stable for everyone involved. We have more peace, less toxic environment to work in. It's a way to win. And that's what I'm trying to do in this industry. Obviously, we need money to make these things, to make everything go. But I want you guys to realize, look at my heart, look at my path, look at the pattern of behavior that you can see going all the way back to 2011, which is me contributing free information that I think will make people better. And I think will make the industry better and realize that I'm going to give you more value than I'm going to give you more value than than you're ever going to pay for with me. Because that's who I am. That's how I want to be remembered. That's what my legacy is about. I want to have an impact. Okay. Training day, you're, you're going to get that course has helped people launch careers. Thousand bucks. What's the value of a career? You know, the hard skills intensive where you get to the highest level of driving training in the world right now that's being rendered to the private security industry. You get uh, to stack your medical training jacket, uh, T triple T E C C first aid AED, um, everything you need, really to really be able to be head and shoulders above most agents out there. Uh, full circle firearms package, low light CQB, um, you know, quals, everything to take you from zero to hero. From uh, I, you know, I haven't shot since the military, law enforcement, or I'm not really a shooter. To have three whole days on the range just to get you up to where you're doing the drills you see us doing online. Hard skills intensive, there's nothing like it. Uh, I know a lot of us have cool backgrounds. I run in docs before guys get on my details, a lot of them. And so I get to see where the industry is at when they have to pass a basic, basic uh, law enforcement call. And a lot of guys can't do it. I talk to them on the phone. I talk to them in a Zoom meeting just like this. And they're like, oh, I'm like, yo, you're going to be able to pass out. We got to do a hard skills assessment. You just got to pass local law enforcement quals, local CCW quals, um, different things like that. And they're like, oh, yeah, it won't be an issue, dude. Of course not, dude. Like, I'm, I've been in the game for blah, 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 blah. I'm a Marine. Blah, blah, blah. I'm a cop. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm a Marine. You know what I mean? So I'm like sitting there like, all right, cool, cool, cool. And then we get there and they're like all upset with themselves and emotional because they're just failing. Because hard skills aren't focused on anymore. Because you know what? You know, you know the funny thing about executive protection is it's more than just a job. It's got to be a lifestyle. <laughs> That's why I said that, man, because I come on these details with cats, you know, who I like. But like if something happens when the last time they, they actually did their thing, when was the last time they trained. Guys are avoiding the training. I want to raise a new generation of protectors who are all about being actual protectors, because if you're here to facilitate movement and, you know, keep your clients uh, happy and productive, but not safe, then you know all you are, really, is you're a butler that carries a gun. And that gun's nothing but more liability. You need to be able to be surgical with a chainsaw when the time comes. Are you practicing that? The hard skills intensive is a place where you can come and be a white belt, no egos, and just be like, hey, pour into me, train me. Let me make sure my skills are on, on the level, you know, and it, it's amazing. You go out of the way, eight day retreat. You're in your, the facility, immersive course. Now, the next level up, and this is on the, the spectrum of becoming an EP specialist, one of the highly trained private security, highest trained private security professionals in the game, in this Okay, and I don't mean that you have a tab, that you're Navy SEAL, that you're Special Forces, that you're Secret Service. All that stuff's great, awesome, much respect, love you. But in private security executive protection, you want to be a DP specialist. <clears throat> Training Day Success Package. Our online master's class. The master's class. This is where a number of instructors take you farther than I ever can take you when it comes to executive protection. These guys... All the top names you see in the industry, they take you farther. So um, I've been in this game for about 15 years. These guys have been in the game for 30, 40 years. They all teach different competencies, different things. 
This is talking about getting one of the highest degrees in the executive protection game, right? Now, you don't need all this to get into the industry. I will make you an executive protection professional because of the training day network, the and, and I would say, I'd like to see you go training day. I'd like to see you go hybrid training day and hard skills intensive, but I can put my name on you. What's going to happen. You're going to go through these courses. You're going to learn what you need to learn. You know, start with training day, get in here, start networking, get familiar with everyone, get everyone familiar with you. You're going to learn how to do executive protection, hard skills intensive. You're going to prove that you have the hard skills in order to really, really protect. Then you're going to get access to the uh, network. Then you're going to get access to me mentoring and coaching you. You're going to learn how to set your resume up. You're going to learn how to set your LinkedIn up. You're going to learn how to digitally market yourself and how to widen your sphere of relationships. And then you will win and you will be a legitimate protector. I don't care what your background is. That's how we're going to do that. And it's worked hundred and some odd times. I can say that with absolute certainty. I need to do another poll with our students so I can give you guys legit statistics, right? I take a lot of pride in what we do because we take the most responsibility for our students. We have a, we have just added a whole wing designed to find and place you guys after you get through our courses in the industry. We're, we're, we're right now um, creating relationships with top agencies in the industry to give them access to our high quality manpower that we have coming through our courses. Everyone, there's a war going on for manpower in our industry. Our industry is blowing up right now. Is there value in this? I got other kids and people going to school you know, going into debt, a hundred and two hundred, a quarter million dollars into debt for the rest of their life until they buy a house and they go back into debt, you know, in order to make 80, 60 K a year, you mean to tell me you can drop five, 10 G's and you can literally launch a career making six figures or more doing something that's interesting where you're in a different state country or protecting someone's life. Yeah. That's what I'm here telling you. Facts. One of the biggest and most stable Industries in the world is doing nothing but growing right now. You can transition from your boring lifestyle right now into one of the most like interesting. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Executive protection is boring. Don't get me wrong. You're going to have to deal with billionaires who always have bad uh, misbehaving dogs and stuff. You know, you have to deal with all this stuff. You're going to be a copy getter sometimes, you know, like you're going to have to put the car seats in the car sometimes, you know. But for me, I just can't go to a desk job, man. That's death. That's death. What an F, as they say in the street. I just can't do it. So, you know, let's talk about the EP specialist pipeline, and then I'm going to wrap this up. The EP specialist pipeline, training day success package, the master's class where you learn from the best of the best of the best. Okay. The hard skills intensive where you prove that you have the hard skills and you learn the hard skills. An executive protection centric hard skills training. Yeah, you, you you learn pistol work and all these different things as a cop in the military, but have you done an attack on principle, executive protection centric hard skills, right? The EP immersion course. This is the high, the most, this is an experiential learning course when it comes to executive protection. This is not like your normal five, seven day uh Go sit down, learn PowerPoint, uh, run a few, maybe one op at the end of the course kind of course. This course is uh, we give you the material online. You study it, you land, we make sure you understand what you're doing. And then we throw you out there in the field. You're running the most realistic executive protection ops that we can render. uh, And you're doing it with myself with the guys that Rick brings to the table, with private security professionals that have been working in the industry for over a decade, all over the world, working top clients, doing all the stuff. And you're going to be, we're going to be left, left seat, right seat, working in this industry. It's a course that's designed to give you experiential information, experiential learning to make it so that when you get out there and you're doing the real thing, it's so easy. The hard skills intensive and the immersion course are designed to make every day of your executive protection career, an easy day. You want to walk off, step off on that detail with supreme confidence and knowing like, they're not going to throw stuff at me in the barn that they threw at me at the league, that Rick threw at me at the league, executive protection specialists. Yeah, you know, so that's the pipeline. And then you're an EP specialist. Yeah, and then I'd say you're one of the most highly trained private security professionals in this industry with some of the most high level, hardcore 
training when it comes to the hard skills and the soft skills. Hard skills intensive EP immersion course. Hard skills and soft skills. Online training. You've sat under over, you know, two dozen instructors. And that's the gold standard. But to the point of this podcast and this conversation, which I don't do a lot of these, uh, I will make you an executive protection professional. I will help you elevate your career through creating training opportunities that will teach you what to do to take your game to the next level and through consistent mentoring at the League of Executive Protection Specialists and through a high quality network. This is the third way, a high quality network that I will continue building for you in your sleep. The training, creating training to make you legit. The mentoring, I will stay with you through your industry, through your career and continue, continue contributing with to you. Me or one of my instructors every two weeks will see you on a Zoom meeting if you want it. And then the finally, the most important, one of the most valuable thing, the network and the value of the network continues to grow every time we get a new student in the network. That's the strategy. That's the plan. I know it's worked because I've done it for hundreds of agents already. And if you're thinking about getting in this industry or you're thinking about elevating your career, I know that I have a path. And that's why I can sit here in front of you and talk like this. Because it's been proved. We've been doing this for two and a half years now. Anyways, so I, I, I don't often come on here on the podcast because, you know, it's not about me. It's about uh, crystallizing and canonizing other amazing industry professionals experience. And the cool thing is I thought I would run out of people to talk to. Oh my gosh. There's so many people I haven't even gotten to yet. I have a list of private security professionals that have been making awesome contributions. There's so much talent here. It's such a cool, interesting industry and it's only morphing and, 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 and changing and elevating, you know, Anyways, if you're listening to this on time, the next place you'll be able to see me is the EP Forum. I hope you'll come and join me there too. EPForum.us as an event that I came up with along with Christian and Pablo. That's really all about a conversation in the executive protection industry. It's not death by PowerPoint. We get to have a conversation together. And um, it'll be some of your best spent time at the Close Protection Conference. Anyways, I hope that more of you will join me. I hope that I'll get to shake more of your hands. I look forward to making more high quality contributions. VA funding for these courses is coming, but don't wait, man. Don't make your future wait. Let's get into the game. Let's make this industry a a better place. and Let's raise the golden standard. I do these things because it's who I am. I'm a protector by nature and by trade. And I really do love you guys. I'll see you on the next free piece of content out there in the game and the industry or out there in the field. Byron Rogers, protected by nature and by trade. This is my MCK. There are many like it, but this one is mine. If you've got a firearm sitting around, a pistol that you are not doing anything with, get an MCK. They make them for every single model. If you want a micro conversion kit, that will turn your handgun into a force multiplier. Get one, man. They are ultra affordable. CAA MCK micro conversion kits are the changing the game, y'all. So if you don't have one, you need to get one. Get one. Your women, children, people that are less physically potent will be able to fire your firearm to farther distances with more accuracy. You will be able to fire your firearm to farther distances with more accuracy. I want to get one of these into the hands of 100,000 more protectors this year because ultimately we are only as good as the things, the nation is only as good as its protection. Your home is only as safe and as good as your ability to protect it. MCK, go get one, drop your handgun in, take it to the next level, out.
Boom. Yo, if you're a private security professional wanting to take your game to the next level, go to executiveprotectiontrainingday.com to check out my personal success package for private security professionals. Check it out, executiveprotectiontrainingday.com. And remember, y'all, hard skills do save lives, but soft skills get you paid. Boom. Boom. And to support this podcast, go to executiveprotectionlifestyle.com and contribute to our Patreon account. That Patreon account is what helps me make this podcast possible, contributing to this brand, what we're doing here, making it so that I can bring better guests on, making it so that we can plan more events and just expand the contribution to the private security industry and also to make an America a safer place. Do whatever you can, contribute whatever you can because it makes all of these things possible. Thanks for those contributions. Yo, and before we go, you know I got a shout out to the sponsors, starting out with Primary Weapon Systems, PWS. They truly are the evolution of the rifle. Use Byron for 10% off. Gray Man and Company, the most comfortable tactical suits in the game. Use Byron for 10% off with them. Until the next podcast, this is Byron Rogers, protected by nature and by trade. Out.